What is up everybody? It's your boy Unboxed and I am back with another unboxing. This time, your boy is here. Your boy has secured the package of the Retro 13 Blitz. Before we get into everything, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're not. And be sure to drop those comments. All right. As you all know, this weekend was the highly anticipated drop of the Retro 13 Flints. And if y'all if y'all understood and knew all the struggles I went through to get this shoe, oh my gosh. I can legit say that I've never caught so many L's in a weekend in my life. First of all, let's rewind. I noticed everybody was doing raffles and I called DTLR, one of the DTLRs and my that's near my place of residency. And somebody told me that it was first come, first serve. So they told me what time they opened. And that was that. I was like, all right, cool. I'll be up there. You know how it works. I waited in a line for the very first time for the Bread 11s. Prior to that, I have never waited in a Jordan line ever before. I've always got my stuff um, through the exclusive way granted i wanted to present this review to you all so i said all right i need to get these in hand the day of the release since of course shock drop didn't go as planned i actually had to take something back to dtlr uh maybe on on friday so the day before the actual release and i asked about the flint 13s and they told me that they were raffle only that the raffles had already closed. The look on my face was not pleasant. As I told them, I said, well, I called up here and somebody told me that it was first come, first serve. So nevertheless, they tell me that you have to wait, uh, what is it, 24 hours before you can come back to try and get an unclaimed uh, raffled pair of the Flint 13s. So I was like, 24 hours, I mean, that's a lot. You know, everybody has plenty of time, so forth. So then I ended up calling, I believe, Hibbets. And Hibbets were only doing, they were also doing raffles, but they were only allotting two hours. So you had two hours to come pick up your shoes and it was via appointment only. So I got there and to no avail, they were sold out. So I was calling DTLRs again everywhere else i said let me try and call everybody maybe right before they close so that way i know if it's worth my time to go up there on um sunday so it's calling 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 and nobody's answering i'm like what's going on and i was calling like 45 minutes before any of them closed now if you all have been keeping up with the news uh there has been a lot of tragedy uh in the u.s uh most recent um, Mr. George Floyd, rest in peace, brother. Um, and there have been a lot of riots that have come with looting. And from my knowledge, or from my acknowledgement, a lot of the malls closed early. A lot of the storefronts closed early. So I drove all the way to this DTLR location that was at least probably 30 minutes away from my house just because I felt like they had the best possibility of landing me the flints. Got there, 30 minutes before they opened, was waiting outside. They come outside and tell me they don't have any pairs, okay? The guy behind me then says, so all the pairs are gone, and then the employee for DTLR then says, well, we have four pairs left, and they were already raffled off. They're just waiting for the individuals to come claim them. So I'm thinking, well, I thought they only had the day of to claim their pair. 
again to no avail since all of the protests and things like that that have been going on uh dtlr decided to extend their pickup window for those raffled winners another 24 hours so at that moment they have all of a, all of sunday to pick up those shoes so i'm looking like are you kidding me like I understand that you all closed early and that you know you want to make sure that those people get a fair shot of getting their shoes but I can see extending it maybe for the hours that may have been lost on the day before so if they close at 6 but they were originally supposed to close at 9 maybe extending it to maybe 3 p.m. or something like that no they want to do the whole day so I was calling around calling around nobody had them so I gave it one more shot I called this DTLR that was literally on the other side of town from where I was. It was about another 40 minute drive back the opposite way. And they said, well, we have a size 15. I said, okay, okay, can you hold it for me? The nice lady says, uh, I can hold it for you, but we're not supposed to. I said, okay, if you don't mind, I would really, you know, really appreciate it. So she said, since you're being nice, I'll hold it took my name down I rushed over there now I was driving safely y'all rushed over there and was able to scoop the shoes up for y'all for y'all this is how much I care about y'all I want to make sure that I get the review out for y'all and what I've already done is honestly to be honest with y'all this pair is already sold so that way I can make the money back that I spent on these as, as well as a profitable margin to be able to get my actual size because I've been wanting these since, honestly, since I was in high school. But enough of the spiel, that's, that's the story. I will tell y'all that there will not be an on feet of these. Your boy's a 10 and a half. There's no way, I, there's no tissue paper in the world that I could stuff from the uh, end of my toe to uh, the front of the shoe to even make it work so anywho unfortunately I will not be doing an on feet of these I will just be doing an actual review but let's get to it so as you can see man these joints are nice these joints are nice man honestly like from the toe box the leather honestly is going to be similar to any other 13 that I've ever owned uh, whether that be the bread 13 or just any other type of 13 uh as you all know this is going to be that 3m uh so we were definitely looking forward to that uh, are you going to have the holographic Jumpman 23 bubble on the back of the shoe on the back side panel um and then you just wrap around you're going to have that very beautiful gray a very beautiful gray with the hints of flint going all around it around that uh, the side panels as well as the 3m and then even in the inside it's going to be just pure flint so this shoe is absolutely beautiful y'all like when I say I've been this is definitely by far my favorite um, 13 of all time like of all time I remember seeing this in high school and I was like, man, I have to have that shoe, but I wasn't really as keen to Jordans as I am now, but this shoe is phenomenal. You know, underneath, you're gonna have your traditional Retro 13 with your Jordan bubble here. You're gonna have your hints of white in the front as well as the back, again, with some of that gray just mixed in between. And I mean, I don't know what else to tell y'all. This was definitely a sought after shoe. I'm gonna have that, I call it maybe like a Carolina blue Jumpman right here with the white uh, rope shoelaces. And again, with your clear aglets. So I honestly think y'all this was, from, from the way it sold out, this was probably, Outside of the Chunky Dunkies, this is probably one of the most sought after Jordans of 2020 so far. A lot of people say, well, you know, the Royal Toes and the Core Purple 2.0s and things like that sold out quickly, but I was at least able to cop two pairs of both of those shoes. But I was able, I caught L's on sneakers and DTLR. Now, 
you all know prior to my other videos I was able to catch at least two W's on each shoe that I've gotten this year. With the exception of these, like I literally fell face first on the ground when it came to getting these shoes yesterday. And I was like, you are, you have to be kidding me. So I was able to cop this size 15. Um, and like I said, I've already sold this pair and i've made a profitable margin honestly i've made some pretty good money off this shoe so that way i can be able to get my personal pair i'm still fingers crossed hoping for a restock but just as we've seen restocks of other pairs of joys that have come this year they haven't been too easy to get so if i had to predict the restock is going to be just as hard as the release date uh, for the flints so if you have this shoe kudos to you if you don't but you want this shoe i do believe that prices on uh some of the reselling sites such as um goat and stock X stadium goods i believe that those prices will go down just between yesterday from release date uh until today the price at least for my size is going down at least by 25 dollars so i honestly think if you just keep being patient you'll be able to get your pair uh but other than that i mean this is a beautiful shoe again this isn't even my size and i'm just in in all right now because of how they did this shoe like even the gray like that like that suede is like nice it's like really nice on this on this side piece right here so it's not too much of that you know that uh that booty backstroke but uh it is nice enough to definitely keep for sure as far as a double up, I think this is double up worthy, but your boy having a hard time getting one pair, so I highly doubt that I'll be doubling up on this pair. Uh, unless some type of miracle happens to where I'm able to cop a pair when they do a restock and I try to test the waters and wait until the price drops on GOAT or StockX to try to get a pair out there, I don't know. But at this moment, I'm just trying to get one pair and that's pretty much it. But I can't absolutely cannot wait to wear this shoe. And honestly, y'all, next up is the Hair Sixes. So again, thank y'all for watching. Your boy has been through it this weekend. I'm tired, I'm about to go sit down and get me some rest after I edit this video. And again, follow your boy on IG at Unbox Sneaks. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, and y'all be safe out there. Right now it's crazy amongst the pandemic that's going on. We have a lot of riots in various cities. So just be safe. I know in my city they have placed a curfew on everyone. So at starting at 9 p.m. until sunrise on that next day, uh, everybody has to just kind of stay inside. So at this time, uh, just take care of yourself. Um, spend time with your family and your boy Unboxed is out.